my main interest is understanding how bacteria communicate with higher organisms. The model system that we use is symbiosis between a marine microorganism called Vibrio fisheri and a squid called Euprimnus colopes. They're very beautiful. What the bacteria do is they provide light to the squid. It's really very interesting how it works. The squid are nocturnal, they forage for food at night. And so the moonlight shines down on the squid, um, but they direct the light downwards so that um, basically they break up the shadow that they would otherwise be um, producing. And in fact, it's really interesting is that they, they really can tell how much down so input um, light is, is occurring and they can modulate the amount of light that's produced by the bacteria or at least um, revealed um, to match that downwelling light. So that's one defense mechanism that the squid have to avoid detection by predators. Humans have all sorts of bacteria associated with, with us. In fact, um, we have more bacteria than um, our own cells. Um, and so we know that bacteria provide us with essential um, vitamins, nutrients that we can't make ourselves. The good bacteria protect us from um, invading pathogenic and um, harmful bacteria. And we also think that they stimulate the immune system. And so those are, those are good things that we know that bacteria do for us, and yet um, it's difficult to study um, bacteria that live inside humans. So we use the symbiosis between the bacteria and the squid as a very basic model for um, those positive interactions between bacteria and, and higher organisms. In addition, it's also a model for, um, for disease because we know that the same sorts of events that happen in symbiosis are happening in pathogenesis and vice versa. And so um, the, the, in our system, the bacteria, um, they have to find their way into, they have to find the squid, they have to find their way inside, they have to um, multiply, they do all sorts of other things like harmful bacteria are doing, they just don't cause disease and so we can really use this as a, a useful model for understanding disease as well.